Tonight, live and in HD, we're coming to you from Pizza Hut Park in Frisco, Texas. The New England Revolution are on the road against the Western Conference leading FC Dallas. Basically, uh, it's a long day. I think uh, athletes figure feel that uh, oh, it's a television show, no big deal. But we've been here since noon. We come on here at 7.30. Uh, the game will end around 9.30. And then after that, we will, um, if you can believe it, we'll be here for another hour and a half to get in, finishing the show, putting it all together, sending stuff down to ESPN. Um, let's bring into the truck. This one's underway in the red and white, FC Dallas. Right here is video. I'm with Wide Up, he's our head video guy. His job is when all the video comes in from the cameras all over that we're taking in, is to make sure it's shaded right so that people look the right color, mm -hmm. and not orange necessarily, um, or too dark or too bright. Uh, behind here, over here, uh, this is our, these are all of our uh, sources of video. So he makes it all look good, but these guys bring it in and they run it back. Uh, they're all using what's called an EBS, um, which is basically an electronic video system. Like any replay that you see in any game, it's from these guys. So uh, what we got here is the production part. Um, this here is Gord. Gord does the, the bug, which has got all the information, uh, score, etc. Over here is uh, Sean and Thomas uh, with the Viz machine. So all those moving graphics you see on the lower third stuff, all those full page graphics with player bios and stuff like that, comes from him. A lot of research is done pre for this, and they do a lot of work in building. We've got the TD. He presses all the buttons that the director tells him to, which just sounds a lot more simple than it is. It's, uh, Dan, he, he's the director. He's calling all the different shots, calling all the different tapes. He tells them when to roll them, etc. Chris Alexopoulos is the producer. Um, he basically uh, is the father of the show. Uh, everything runs through him. Um, it's, he's the one talking to the announcers in the headset, saying, hey, let's talk about uh, this. Let's move on to this. Uh, he's the one that calls the replays to make sure that we're covering the stories that we've set up all, all through the game. Um, I'll take you around the corner now, and there's, uh, I'll show you the audio uh, area. This is Chris Allen. Uh, he's our audio guy. Hey, Chris, we make sure that everyone sounds good, as you can see. If you, look at his, good vibe. Thank if you look at his board, he's got how many channels you got for audio? Uh, huh? 72? 72 channels. He's got quick hands, obviously. His job also is to put highlight music and stuff when we're running stuff, opens and closes all the mics. Um, and he's got to listen to about 15, 20 people doing a show, which uh, I don't have the ears to do something like that. Rosa, Ricardinho coming in. The shot saved by Reese. No rebound. If there was, Oduro and Cooper were right in front of him. Well, prepping for any game in Major League Soccer, the prep work really never ends. I mean, it starts before the season begins, and it really ends at the end of MLS Cup. And I will try to watch at least a portion of every MLS game that's played on the weekend, and I'll definitely watch more of that game if it's the two teams that I have on the following Thursday. So last week I spent more time watching the FC Dallas game against Chivas and more studying with New England when they played against the New York Red Bulls. I'm watching the game, you know, as a, as a fan. I mean, I'm really a fan first of the game, and I, and I try to just make sure that I don't take away from the game. I always think that announcers should enhance a broadcast. We're not bigger than the package. We shouldn't try to be. And I think one of the good things this year about ESPN, the, the thing that they're trying to do is, is devote more attention to the game itself and, and stay away from some of the things maybe that they've done in the past and, and focus a little bit more on the game bring out more in the analysts and I'm working with John Harks who's in the National Soccer Hall of Fame and of course a former USA International so I like to pick his brain as often as I can because guys like that have just so much knowledge. And that's it. Game over. The New England Revolution were in fourth place at the start of the night. They're now tied for first with Kansas City with 10 points. They had a great effort tonight. Excellent effort. You know the whole team they, they stick together.